England, a kingdom for taking across the sea. My name is Matilde, and my Norman family dreamed of ruling England's fertile and rich lands, despite its Anglo-Saxon inhabitants. And so it is today, as I, its queen, rule England. Here's my family's story. My grandfather invaded England with his lord, William the Conqueror. For this, he was granted the eastern coastal fiefdom of Lincoln, which to this day is still my family's seat of power. We soon made Lincoln prosper, building mills, constructing castles, and gaining the loyalty of our people. As we expanded into neighboring cities, our men-at-arms were welcomed by the locals for their protection. But we also began to encounter other powerful families. Once we controlled all of the cities in our fiefdom, the king recognized our growing power and granted our family the title of Count, which was bestowed upon my brother Thomas. This title gained us the admiration of courtiers who flocked to our service. My cousin, the Lady Margaret, became the abbess of the autumn, which my uncle had founded. The continuing rise of our family led me to be presented to King Hugh's son, Lord Edward, the Prince of Wales. Our wedding in London was grandiose, especially when the relics of St. Caradoc were presented as a dowry by my father. But then, disaster struck our island. King Hugh and many others were taken by the Black Death Plague. I am distraught that he did not have my apothecary Geoffroy at his service who could have saved him. Now his son, my husband Edward, is king. Long live King Edward! To raise much needed revenues, my Lord King husband presented new taxes to be enacted, but other noble houses voted against these. Without additional income sources, the King could not raise new royal troops or build royal castles or support the other noble families. After the House of Lords' defiance against their king, my valiant husband had to go forth to repel one of the many Norse invasions that continued to terrorize our lands. Outnumbered, he still defeated the pagan invaders in a glorious battle, but then died of the wounds he had suffered. I am now a widow and with the support of my patrons and allies, including the powerful Archbishop of York, I was elected Sovereign Queen. I now rule England, ready to face new challenges and to continue to expand my family's influence and powers. What do I hear? You and your fellow conspirators dare to oppose my godly right to rule? Beware, because my family's wrath runs deep. <laughs>